AI-generated images can now be given out extra bits of light with the AI motion brush tool, whether it is to convey human activity and energy to a scene, or bring the environment around a building to life and create an atmosphere. With just a selection brush and text plot, you can really bring emphasis to a specific natural element, such as sun rays. It is also a great tool for creating those common cinema graphs of moving clouds behind your buildings without advanced video editing skills. The Motion Brush is a new tool by Runway ML in Gen 2. You can generate images with this app as well, or just use a render made in another software or other AI gen app. In this case, I'll use some renders I made with Mid Journey. I made a previous video about making architectural scenes with AI, so you can check out the link in the description below. I will start with a shopping center scene as designers will often like to show activity when showcasing public spaces and architecture. All you need to do is select the brush tool at the top, you can adjust the brush size too, and move over the areas you would like to animate. So here I'll go over some of the pupil and empty spaces in the mall. It is actually better to paint less, as the AI will recognize what you are trying to pick up, so you don't need to be very accurate. The bottom sliders here control the direction of the motion. So the first will either go left or right, as shown by the arrows. I'll adjust it to move a bit to the left, and then down or up. I won't use this, as it might make the people float upwards or jump up. And then the last one is to do with proximity to the camera. So we will want the people to walk towards the camera. You can also add a short description to help guide the AI. So literally a very short description such as people walking will suffice. And then you just need to click generate. And previews. As you can see, the direction of motion is crucial. And it can be quite particularly tricky with people. Here you can see some of the people walking backwards. So we will want to reverse this. At the bottom here, you can refine the brush and motion as many times as you like. So here, if I set the proximity to the other direction, let's see what we get. It is a completely different effect. Not perfect, but animating crowds with AI can be quite a difficult task for it to do. So you need to experiment around with this more. And most likely in the future, the motion brush will be trained to become more accurate with newer releases. I would do another example, animating skies as particularly animating clouds to dramatize your building is often seen on CGI websites and can be very captivating. I added another mid-journey generated render here of a concrete house in a desert, which has a large open sky to animate. I'll just create a couple of streaks in the direction I want the clouds to move. And for the motion, I'll simply make it move left. And then the description will be clouds moving. I can save and generate. Let's preview the scene. Well, it is definitely dramatic, but a bit too much of a storm look in the desert. Although it is very interesting to see how the lighting of the surrounding dunes change as well. So let's go back to the brush and maybe reduce the size of the brush strokes by using the razor. So let's thin out the lines and see if this has an effect. And then decrease the motion force slightly as well. And for the description, I'll just add the word gently to try and calm down these clouds. And here you can see we get a much brighter scene and the effect has been decreased. Now they are still dynamic, although now they don't have an apocalyptic look. You can really create some amazing compositions between nature and architecture with this tool. And to end with an example I like to use a lot with waterside projects is to animate the water and building reflection. So here I will brush out the water in the foreground and add a tiny bit of motion in one direction. For the description I will enter gentle water ripple to avoid any huge waves being generated. This has come out quite nicely, 
with the reflection moving along with the water. And some people sitting along the bank have been animated too, which is a nice bonus as it seems to be blending in well. It's actually a very fun tool to use on your own renders and particularly for natural elements and weather, it is much easier to get better results compared to animating people or objects. If you want to create quick cinema graphs of your architectural images for websites or presentations, this is one option definitely to try out.